I spend my whole life staring at people, basically. Trying to Not in a weird way. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's, I, I get locked up for that. But, yeah. but, you know, like all the rave scenes started to like blow up and I was like 14, 15. I was working in a restaurant at the time and one of the older kids that was working there was into you know doing pills and getting into it and I was like oh fucking hell drugs yeah. and then better um, stay away yeah, I was like, Whoa, <laughs> just say no will kill you so there were loads of raves and that around us yeah so we used to just like find out where a rave was on the weekend and just yeah. fucking rave on yeah I just passed my license yeah and uh, so I took my parents car which they didn't know about yeah they do uh, now yeah <laughs> and I was just told go up the M5 and you'll see a convoy that was it. And we're like, this must be the convoy to the pep, to the rave. Can't so see any other convoys. No, it was like, literally, I was like, oh my God, like that is the rave. Yeah, yeah. So we just pull in and then just went like into the country and all these cars just like parked up on the side of a hill and there was 40,000 people wow. rave, raving on a, on a, on a, on a, August bank holiday right. 90 whatever and the yeah, police right. couldn't do anything about it because there was no laws to stop it Yeah. so they just turned up and went oh shit 20,000 people having fun yeah. and because they put it on the news saying illegal raid on hill yeah. in you know Gloucestershire on the Friday of the long weekend yeah yeah it's like the best possibility best publicity you could ever have <laughs> so remember gold. by the Sunday rolled around 75,000 people were like 